Every month, the convent has a used clothing drive. They collect and sort donated clothing, and what's usable goes to people who need it. But this year, somebody has a problem with that. How do you do, Captain Pimenta? Captain? So my information was correct. You are collecting clothes, eh? Well, we might as well confess. Uh, we're a front for a used clothing ring. <laughs> Making light of the situation does not alter the fact that you are breaking the law. Well, Captain, what is the charge this time? I like how she says this time. He's making a hobby out of harassing them every chance he gets. I have to wonder what kind of bug crawled up his butt. Speaking of his butt, he has the law book in his back pocket. He can even look it up for them. According to the Civil Code, Article 27, Paragraph 2, all charitable organizations must apply for permits for fundraising activities 30 days in advance. A. They're not raising funds, they're raising clothes. As in collecting clothing for the poor. No funds involved. B. They are on their own property. I think if he reads a little further, he'll discover that collecting clothing on their own property isn't a violation of that statute. C. If you really have your eye on that pinstripe suit that Sister Jacqueline was holding a moment ago, just say so. Nevertheless, they get the permit and start collecting. Sister Bertrill knows a place where she can get some dandy clothes. The mayor of San Felipe again? Again. Now he's offered to give me the land free and to build a new casino if I bring my business into his town. You have to be crazy to turn down an offer like that. Yeah, but I have loyalty to the people of his town. And then there's the sisters. Sisters? Yeah. I thought you only had one sister. At the convent, those sisters. Speaking of whom, his favorite one is here. Too bad he doesn't have anything to donate. Oh well. Lovely. Bye. It's brand new. Bye. I just love that new mature look. Dibs on it next year when you get tired of it. Bye. God. Wait. What do you mean mature look? I mean mature like older. I'm glad you're finally giving up that playboy image. Sometimes she makes it look too easy. Oh, it'll look really fantastic with a pair of Oxford gray slacks. <laughs> Senor Ramirez, five more ashtrays have been stolen. Yeah, I know. But, Senor Ramirez, that makes 15 ashtrays in the last week that have been stolen. Yeah, I know. She'll try to talk Carlos out of that jacket, too, but he says, don't press your luck. As she's moving along down the street, Captain Fomento calls her into his office. He's resigning. His main reason? This town is boring. Nothing ever happens that provides a challenge for a true criminologist. Worse, it doesn't provide a challenge for Captain Fomento either. I can't believe there aren't any crooks in San Tango. As a matter of fact, I happen to know that there are. Where? Where, where? Carlos's casino. Someone's been stealing ashtrays. Never fear, Captain Gaspar Fomento is on the case and he won't rest until the criminals are caught. I really don't want you to... What are you doing? Oh, I am inspecting for fingerprints. On my desk? It would be an inside job. <laughs> you know something? I don't believe you. Now you listen to me. But it's a beautiful print. That's my hand. Then I was right. It is an inside job. <laughs> he won't rest until the criminals are caught. And at this rate, I don't foresee him getting much rest. Carlos says, what is supposed to have been stolen? Fomento says, I happen to know people are stealing ashtrays from your establishment. You don't understand, Captain. I wanted those ashtrays to be stolen. In fact, I encouraged the customers to steal them. Let me read to you from the criminal code. Fomento said one of the reasons he was resigning was because his brother-in-law, the chief, asked him to. I guess he went a little too far when he arrested the chief for littering. But I'm not sure canning him is necessary. Just take that book away from him. That way, every time he thinks he sees a crime, he'll have to run back to the station and look it up, thus giving the affected person time to go on their way in peace. Page 79. Mm -hmm. Section C, paragraph 2. Any person convicted of inciting another to a criminal act no, shall himself be deemed as abetting the crime but and subject up to five years imprisonment and a maximum fine of $10,000. Customers like to take ashtrays as souvenirs. That's why I had printed on them stolen from Casino Carlos. It's supposed to be amusing. When Ramon reported the 15 ashtrays had been stolen, he wasn't upset. He was excited because their little PR maneuver is working. 
The captain doesn't believe it. He's going to look around and catch the crooks in the act. You are under arrest. I demand to know the meaning of this. Sit down. You're under arrest too. Oh, no. you are under arrest. Please, please everybody, it's just a little misunderstanding. You are under arrest too, so lock your front door and do not let anyone leave. Uh-huh, no one leave. Carlos is beyond furious, and he's had enough. Ask me who I'm calling. Who are you calling? I'm calling the mayor of San Felipe. Ask me why I'm calling the mayor of San Felipe. Why are you calling Because me? I'm accepting the offer to move my casino there. Carlos, you're not serious. Not my day. His line is busy. You know, Carlos, it isn't entirely Captain Fermento's fault, you know. Oh, it isn't? Isn't he out there now? Ruining my business because somebody reported stolen ashtrays? Then you go to his brother-in-law, the chief, and say, send this doofus to San Felipe. Moving Fomento to another place is a lot easier than moving a whole casino. Probably cheaper, too. Well, I only told him that to cheer him up. <laughs> you told him that? Well, I thought it would give him something to do. Oh, that I don't believe. So you're not really going to call the mayor? Oh, man? no. Okay. I'm going to fly there and make the deal in person so I'm sure that nothing goes wrong. Unfortunately, I can't blame Carlos. He adores this little nun as if she was family, but some family dynamics work best over a bit of distance. Trust me on that one. The problem is, aside from the deep friendship she and Carlos have developed that they're both going to miss, the convent is losing their biggest and most faithful patron. From the day Sister Bertrill arrived, they could always count on Carlos to help them in a crisis. Nobody has any idea how to fill that gap. The worst part is Carlos needs us just as much as we need him. I mean, we're like family to him. We're a pain in the neck, we always interfering with his personal life, and we're always needing money. I mean, what are relatives for? If you're wondering where the bird came from, she had Lucky Charms for breakfast, and that was the prize inside the box. Yeah, I'm serious. With all Carlos's yelling and screaming, he loves helping us out. It gives him the feeling of being needed. You're right. We've got to stop Carlos from making the biggest mistake of his whole life. Yeah. Okay, shoo way home. Shoo way home. Shoo way home. I'm glad I didn't make some kind of comment about a stuffed bird. She has an idea. If Carlos thinks the convent is in serious trouble, he'll stay and help them. Since Captain Fomento has been such a good catalyst so far, let's use him again. Now, you're probably wondering why I asked you here. You see, I have kind of a special request. I thought perhaps I might be able to bring some of the children down to the police station on sort of a field trip, being that we've never had such a famous criminologist here I, in uh, St. Anko before. I appreciate your compliment, sister, but uh, I still have to give you a citation. By the time they're done, he's seen that absurd wiring, faulty plumbing, a leaky gas pipe in the kitchen, a flooded basement, a clogged chimney that fills the room with smoke, and a... A fair condition. The prediction was for clear skies. <laughs> leaky roof. This convent is condemned! <laughs> is condemned? That's right. I guess it's the end of the convent, and unless a miracle happens. Well, you are in that business. Yes, well, I, I realize, Carlos, that it really isn't any of your concern. After all, you're going to San Felipe, and I, I imagine you'd be very happy there. No crazy captains, no flying nuns. He'll be quite happy. He'll pretend not to care, but he's not fooling anybody, least of all himself. Thank you for all the wonderful things you've done for the grand old convent of Santanko, and we'll never forget them. And, and when we're standing there with tears in our eyes watching the grand old convent of Santanko being torn down, we'll always remember that if it hadn't been for our good friend Carlos Ramirez, the grand old convent of Santanko would have been torn down a long time ago. Mr. Betrill, I could cry. You could? If I didn't feel like laughing. <laughs> to think that you would go through all these just to keep me here. He says, come clean. You made all this stuff up to convince me to stay in San Juan. She says, it's true. We jerked Captain Fomento around so we could convince you to stay here with us. I mean, it's your life to live, such as it is. <laughs> so don't worry about us. We'll get along without you. Somehow. 
Sister Bertrand. Why don't you quit when you're ahead? And by the way, it worked. He's staying. But there's still the matter of the convent being condemned. That part they didn't make up. They made up most of the issues, but Fomento's order is real. Sister Bertrill has an idea what to do about that. How'd you like to buy a 400-year-old convent? <laughs> Captain Fomento has gotten word that the sisters are putting the convent up for sale. His brother-in-law got the same word and has uh, strongly urged the good captain to review the case and maybe reconsider his order. No problem. Once we drain the water in the basement, it will be ideal for the topless review. <laughs> in the convent? Oh, yes. Senor Ramirez has made a generous offer to take over the place. <laughs> you plan to turn the convent into a, a nightclub? Oh, no, only the basement. No, the upstairs will be the gambling casino. They're playing this all perfectly. Fomento is so disgusted, he's about to rip his little book. Now, there's one wild card in this whole scenario, and that's the Reverend Mother. She's been away on a trip and has no idea what's been going on. The meditation room would be ideal for roulette. And then we could tear out the prayer benches and put in slot machines. The Mother Superior's office would be a great place for blackjack. Oh. On the contrary, I think my office would be much more suitable for the dice table. I believe I have finally seen the dictionary definition of just go with it. The captain begs her not to sell the convent because he's found a loophole to get around all the issues. Any building erected before 1765 shall be of such historical significance to be designated a national monument and not subject to the current building standard. Now, in my capacity as captain of the police, I designate the convent of Santango into a national monument. Oh. I have a feeling if he digs through some records, he'll find someone already did that a long time ago. But that's not important right now. What really matters is, he's gone. I know this must all sound absolutely crazy to you, Reverend Mother, but I'm sure once I explain how it happened, it'll all sound absolutely crazy. <laughs> Somehow I am prepared for that. Well, see, it all started when these ashtrays were stolen from Carlos's casino. Well, they actually weren't stolen. They were souvenirs. But I, I can hear Reverend Mother saying, Please do me a favor, child. Have someone else explain it. If you enjoyed this, please click the like button to let me and YouTube know you want to see more. If you're not subscribed yet, punch me in the mask here and get signed up so you don't miss a thing, because something is always happening here at Irving Zoo. As always, thank you for watching, and I'll see you later. Never fear, Captain Gascar... ...than moving a whole casino. Ow, don't bite yourself. Some family dynamics work. Blah, 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 dynam and a clogged chimney that fills the roof. Uh, uh, no, there's no end there, stupid. His brother-in-law has got the same word. Got, got the. Oh, go away, bug.